Jackie Sites here with LearnToFiddle.com. I'm going to give you a couple of tricks and tips. Um, if you haven't yet seen the video on the three fundamentals of bowing or the three points to getting a good tone, you want to watch that. Um, but one thing that causes a lot of people to not sound great when they're playing the instrument is to use um, an unparalleled bow. That means your bow either looks like this so that it's not making a straight line with the bridge or it looks like this, it's not making a straight line with the bridge couple of tricks and tips about that. The first thing is, if you'll stand parallel to the mirror, you can check and make sure that your bow is parallel to the bridge. And if your bow is crooked, it's going to sound like this. Or like this. If you get a straight bow, and you check out my tips on tone, you're going to have a great sound. Now, the other thing is, once you really look in the mirror, and you make sure that your bow is nice and straight and parallel with the bridge. The next trick is that you have to start with a square from here. One, two, three, and then four. You kind of have to imagine back to here. And once you start with that square, then what you're going to do is you're going to pull your bow straight this way. It's really important that you check out your elbow. You really want to check that elbow out. And you want to open from your elbow. So you're going to straighten your bow, and then you're going to open from the elbow, and back. Make sure that you are doing your bow stroke from your upper arm like this. Do you hear the difference in the sound? If your upper arm is not straight, it's going to cause your bow to move and go unparalleled from the bridge. Now I have a secret. The secret weapon is to stand against the wall. So I'm going to go stand by against the wall, and I hope you don't get dizzy as we move over to the wall. So the video camera is going to shortly follow me over to the wall, and I'm going to show you how to do this. <coughs>